there's going to be so much opportunity to screw up this week. At every turn, there's going to be something that's not usually there, someone that I don't usually see asking me to do something that's going to drive me off plan. And it's going to be my job to just be like, no nonsense, all business. Nope. Uh uh-uh, get out of here with that. Not doing it in a nice way. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again. Darren Starr here. We are six weeks out from the Battle of the River, Chattanooga, Tennessee, June 8th, 2024. And this is the week that was. I'm going to try and do things in a little bit of a different order this week. I struggle with finding out what order of sections kind of makes the most logical sense. And at this point, I'm not really thinking with my most logical brain, so I'm just going to try something a little different and see what sticks. It was, shall we say, an eventful week, and there's another super eventful week on the horizon that I'm really kind of low-key panicking about. So, let's get into it. First thing I want to start with here is changes that we implemented rolling into this week. There weren't too many changes, realistically. Last week, I had talked about bumping my post-workout cardio up to 40 minutes. That continued for this week, for the most part. We'll get to some exceptions on that shortly here. I also decided I was going to bring uh, the high-carb day down to just once a week, and then kind of decided that maybe I was just going to do that as needed here and there. This week, I decided I was going to do a high-carb day yesterday, as of the day I'm recording this, really what I ended up doing was just, I did a high carb pre-workout meal and then kept the rest of the day the same, just a regular day after that. So it was really about an extra 25 grams of carbs and that was about it. It was not super impressive or satisfying, but I tell you what, when you're flat, an extra 25 grams of carbs before you lift makes a big difference in how things look and how things feel. It was it was pretty exceptional, so that was a great workout. Uh, other than that, there were no real changes for this week. It was just grind, 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 and adapt to the shit that went on this week, which involved having a day where I had to run around all over creation and also getting very sick and not being able to sleep because of that and kind of walking around in a delirium type state for a day and a half, pretty much due to lack of sleep. I feel like I'm mostly over that now, and now there's some sleep dysfunction coming in that's just due to being deep and deep into prep, and that's it. Previously in the week, around, I think it was, it was on Wednesday, I woke up, didn't sleep particularly well, had a sore throat when I, when I got up, and just kind of went about, went about my business as though everything was fine. As the day progressed on, I felt worse and worse and worse to the point where around Wednesday night, it was pretty miserable. And then Wednesday, going into Thursday, I think I slept about 20 minutes total that night. Just the sore throat was awful. Nothing that I could do would uh, give it any kind of relief. Um, and so it just, you know, every time you go to swallow, it just uh, would jolt me awake and I never really got a chance to sleep. So it was super, super frustrating night. Thursday, I woke up and stupidly, I'm like, well, I'm in prep. I'm going to go about my business. So I still went and worked out, had a good workout. Couldn't really do much in terms of cardio afterwards, just the breathing, et cetera. And I had to take a longer rest period during my lift that day as well. The more I challenge my heart rate, the harder it is to breathe. And then suddenly, you know, the sore throat becomes more of an issue. It was uh, definitely a challenge. And then also Thursday afternoon, I had to run Derby to the vet for a pre-scheduled appointment. She's fine. And then uh, I ended up going to my doctor for a strep throat test um, just to make sure, you know, if I needed to get on some antibiotics, we could do that immediately. Came back negative, which means, eh, okay, you just got to kind of suffer through it. He prescribed some stuff for me that I was able to get that night. Um, just some kind of, it was like a lidocaine rinse, which I didn't even use properly. So I didn't even get much relief from that. Was able to get some sleep Thursday and woke up on Friday and felt 85% better out of the blue. So it was super, super disruptive for about a day, <laughs> realistically, but it was pretty miserable. And by the time Thursday night was rolling around, like I had to meal prep some chicken. Like I did that. And then afterwards I looked at it on the counter. I'm like, I don't really have any memory of doing that, even though it was five minutes ago. I'm standing there making the dog's dinner and I'm in the kitchen. I'm like, I could have been standing there for 10 minutes, just staring at the counter and not realized it. Like it was really an out of body kind of experience just because I was so freaking tired from not having slept the night before. So um, that was awful. And I don't care to repeat that again, but that was pretty much the week that was. We're kind of blending this into the next section, but we'll talk about a couple other things separately. How things feel. So appetite's up. Cravings are actually okay. They're not too bad this week. Uh, Didn't really have any real issues with that. 
energy has been, you know, anywhere ranging from okay to completely non-existent due to the sleep issue. That one night of sleep was a real problem. Um, beyond that, like this morning, I was sleeping okay. I woke up at 3.50 a.m., couldn't get back to sleep. So I'm just like, I guess I'm up. Let's start working. I got stuff to do, so let's get on it. There is this thing that happens um, towards the tail end of prep. Um, one of the dysfunctions that you can see start to creep in is just, you know, sleep becomes harder and harder to come by. And it's really distressing for me because I consider, like, quality sleep to be my superpower. <laughs> and so when I can't get sleep and it starts to become a problem when it usually isn't, start to worry about that a little bit. So I'm trying to just chill out because the more I worry about it, the more it's gonna be a problem. I really just need to slow down with everything that I'm doing regarding work and additional projects I'm doing, um, but I can't. This week, I lost time. You know, I was just slow and inefficient due to the time spent being sick. This week, there's some challenges up ahead, so I'm really jam-packing today, Sunday, tomorrow and Tuesday with as much stuff as I possibly can because I have to. We'll talk about that shortly here. Overall today, like I feel pretty good, um, decent. I'm still, you can probably hear, I'm not quite 100%, still a little congested, but not too bad. Realistically, I've had some some great training sessions um, the last couple of days. So today was off. I went, did cardio, got a decent sweat. So overall, I, I do feel pretty good. We'll just see if that sleep thing becomes an issue going forward. How things look, we'll pull up the video here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, I'm not stage ready, but for being six weeks out, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with this. If you could have rewinded back to 20 weeks out and shown me a version of myself um, at six weeks out saying that he's pretty happy with the video, I would have said like, shut up, get out of here with that. But I'm okay with it. I mean, I see all kinds of flaws still and things I don't like, but big picture, understanding that I have to evaluate a video of me I like it about as much as I'm probably going to. <laughs> so um, now it should get a little bit sharper. What I'm looking to do though, is make sure that as things get sharper, as things get leaner, as things get tighter, that that illusion of still having a little bit of size hangs on. Um, if things start to look small, that's gonna be a problem. That might be when I implement a, a more aggressive refeed strategy, just to make sure like, hey, if we fill back out, how does it look then? And probably so, if that happens, we might see um, a couple videos next week. Depending on how this next week plays out, if I end up doing a high day, uh, I may do a couple of videos, and so we'll be able to do some side-by-side -side comparisons and look. But right now, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with this. I have a posing session scheduled with uh, Bino, who's the promoter for the Knox Classic here in town. I'm gonna meet with him early on Tuesday morning. He's gonna walk me through some stuff. I'm gonna see if I can record that and post that as a video also, so you can see, like, you know, be a fly on the wall for some posing. I'm gonna get us both mic'd up and uh, see if we can get some good audio and video from that, because I think it'd be insightful for a lot of people. I plan on learning a lot from it. I want you to be able to, to take from it what I get from it too. So um, that'll be on Tuesday. I'm not sure when that will go up or anything like that. I need to make sure I can actually do it. Um, but uh, I'm kind of looking, I'm looking forward to the session. I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to record it and post it too. So we shall see. Okay, tracker for the week over here. Um, how are we looking? You know, when I recorded this last week, I had made this drop down to 213.8 wasn't able to beat that by more than two tenths all week. Like it spiked back up and then it was kind of hanging around. Now I was also like hopped up on a lot of meds. I was taking Sudafed, Benadryl, Ibuprofen, um, drowning myself in cough drops. So there may be some weird stuff going on there. You can also see um, on the 23rd, my post-workout cardio, I shortened that from 40 to 36 minutes. And that was actually a low blood sugar <laughs> episode right there. Felt like if I hang, hung on for those last four minutes, I was going to pass out. I understand how blood sugar works and how mine is. You know, my blood sugar is typically low. It has got a little too low there. And so I didn't need to eat anything. I just needed to stop what I was doing and chill out for a few minutes. And it was fine. It stabilized. Um, the next day is when, Wednesday is when I was really starting to feel like I got through the back workout with Sam just fine. There was no issue there. Um, and then afterwards, once I started to grind on some cardio, I made it in 10 minutes. It was like, uh-uh, this ain't gonna happen. And then on Thursday, the 25th, I was able to push for 30 minutes, but there was a pretty lazy 30 minutes. Like I think that was like 2.7 miles per hour on the treadmill at like a 2% incline. That's the only way I was able to get 30 minutes was basically just by treating it as though it was a, it was a dog walk, pretty much. Um, but then Friday, back to it, and then yesterday, and then I did it, I've already done it all today as well. So I'm feeling pretty good here. Um, we're on track now. It was a good week if you look at the numbers, like again, a 2.4 pound drop looking at the average but again, it's like, well, we had that drop and then we've been kind of stagnant around there. In the short term, eh, 
I'm not thrilled with where we're at right now, but I also think in the next couple of days, like today's a low carb day, um, it wouldn't surprise me if actually that doesn't work in my favor tomorrow, but then Tuesday I see a big drop. So it's kind of what I'm waiting on. So um, we'll see. Right now, um, looking ahead, if, if you know taking today's number um, as the weekly average for next week, that puts me on track to be dropping one pound per week to hit the cap. I do need to get under the cap, however, so um, by a good bit. So I do still need to keep pushing and I need some big weeks here as well. So overall, pretty happy with it in, in spite of sickness, et cetera, like training quality still stayed very high. So don't really have any complaints about how the week played out other than, you know, what I had to get through in order to make it work that way. Random shit I hear quite a bit. Now I'm not taking notes. When I'm at the gym um, and having conversations with people, but at this point it's every day, except for today. Because today I just did four sets of calves and cardio. That was it. But typically every day there, um, somebody is coming up and saying something now, which is is cool. Like I've said, like, you know, I think we as bodybuilders kind of thrive on that to some extent. Um, even if we are hermits like I am and we um, kind of abhor human contact, <laughs> that's, that's overstating it a little bit, but you know, you know me, you get what I mean, right? It's uh, it's still just reassuring to hear that. Like, hey, other people are taking notice, cool. And like a lot of these people are just lay people, casual observers. None of them are NPC judges, at least not to my knowledge. So their opinion um, doesn't really count for a whole lot in practical terms, but nonetheless, they're seeing something. And so there's validation in that, which is cool. What I took from that, because I will always take a positive and turn it into a negative. That's my other superpower. What I did notice is that um, because of that, I'd always assumed that before just my standard, like resting bitch face was why people never come up and talk to me in the gym. I've been told that I just look super unapproachable, but now like my face hasn't changed. Well, I do have the beard now, but still, um, other than that, it hasn't changed. Does this make me look more approachable? I don't know, but that hasn't changed the face. Otherwise, like my general expression and demeanor in the gym has not changed, but now people are approaching me. What's changed? my physique has changed. I'm leaner now and everything looks a little bit more dramatic, which tells me that before people just weren't coming up to me because I just didn't look impressive, which I won't lie. It's a little devastating to the ego. <laughs> I mean, I will survive, but that's the conclusion that I came to. So as always, I can take any kind of positive, and spin it into a negative. Next step. So this week is going to be a bear. So uh, today is Sunday as I record this. Today is Sunday. I'm recording this today. I will try and edit this and get it posted for tomorrow morning release as well. Tomorrow, I'm going to even a day earlier than I normally do record the podcast, which I have kind of outlined already um, and get that set. Um, hopefully edit that tomorrow as well. Get that set for a Friday release. Tuesday, I have posing. That will be a training day. Um, and a bunch of other little crap to take care of. And then Wednesday, I wake up, do a whole, as much work as I possibly can. And then 12.30, I go to the airport and I'm off to Oregon for a week. So there's been a lot of planning this week to make sure that everything with that trip goes according to plan. Uh, yesterday, I placed my order with a meal prep company there. So I have three meals per day that I'm gonna be shopping for and then two per day that they are going to provide. I have to coordinate pickup of those meals um, and I have to make some phone calls to make sure they're gonna be held at a certain location so that I can pick them up because they're gonna be delivered and I won't be able to pick them up until a day and a half later. All this crap, getting my accommodations squared away. Um, thankfully, like flight and rental car are all set. That stuff's all good to go. I am going to visit family. All my family lives out there and so I've already had inquiries from family Family members asking about like, hey, when are we going to meet for dinner? I'm like, we're not. <laughs> like, we can meet. You can have dinner. I'm going to eat my shit, <laughs> right? Like, so there is going to be a little bit of like, there's going to be so much opportunity to screw up this week. At every turn, there's going to be something that's not usually there, someone that I don't usually see asking me to do something that's going to drive me off plan. And it's going to be my job to just be like, no nonsense, all business. Nope. Uh -uh. Get out of here with that. Not doing it in a nice way. To say that I'm stressing about that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got it. I'm confident I'll be able to do it, but I'm also confident that it's going to be uh, um, challenging at times. It's going to be a little uncomfortable and challenging at times for sure. It's going to be a challenging week. It's going to be tough. I do have a gym sorted out when I'm there. Um, it's going to be difficult to find time to do cardio just because I'm going to have to wake up, do as much work as I possibly can, get to the gym, eat, etc., and then go hang with my family pretty much all day. 
Um, and uh, I might have to cut some corners on some things. I'm not sure. I spent a lot of time yesterday like sorting out my macros with my new meals um, that I have set up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a trick on the schedule. So, um, you know, I'm going to hang with my parents for the most part. Um, they're not going to do cardio with me. <laughs> I don't think mom and dad are up for it. Um, so I'm going to have to find time to uh, pull away and do my own stuff here and there. But uh, honestly, the other thing is prep is important, but on this trip, it is secondary. So like I can keep the diet in place without really disrupting the trip at all. Um, my family are not really big foodies or anything like that. I'm going to take my parents out to dinner and probably won't eat anything there, but uh, I'll take them out to dinner. Sure. Um, I'll go hang with my brothers, both of them. Absolutely. They'll want to feed me and I'll just say, no, thanks. Brought my own stuff. So I can do that. Of course, I'm going to look at what they're eating. I'm going to want it, but it's okay. I can handle that. Uh, it's just, uh, it, the family stuff is really important and it's more important than prep. Um, but again, as I've said many times in this series before, uh, you don't have to miss out on the social things just because you're in prep. You just have to say no to a lot of the food that's associated with this, those social things. And so that this, this whole week is going to be an exercise in that for me. So am I looking forward to that? No. Am I looking forward to seeing everybody? Hell yeah, absolutely. It's been almost a year since I've seen my family out there. So it's long overdue. So um, it's, a, it's a challenge. Um, it's not the greatest time for it, being that five weeks out will pass when I'm there. But uh, it's, it's when it had to happen. So here we go. Q&A. We got nothing this week. Nobody had any questions from last week's video. So if you have questions on anything here, please leave them in the comments below or if they're over here, if you're on a tablet, uh, down below, if you're on a phone or wherever the hell they are, if you're on a computer. I don't know. So just leave a comment, ask a question. Um, it's funny. A lot of my clients keep asking me like, how's your prep going? I'm like, look at my email signature. I got a link to my vlog right there. <laughs> check it out. So, uh, the word still needs to get out. It just tells me something that I already know, which is I'm terrible at self-promotion. So to remedy that, um, I will say, uh, check out five star digital com. Um, there are course offerings going up there very, very soon. Um, I have three of them that are listed there currently that are all in various levels of completion. And those are set to um, launch June and July. Right now there's Bikini Blueprint, there's Hypertrophy University, and there is now Macro Boot Camp as well for all of your dietary learning needs. So you can check those out, fivestardigital.com. That's all I got, y'all. So I will be doing this vlog next week from the road. It's not going to be fancy. It's going to be shot on a cell phone, probably one take, not edited, but we'll throw it together and good Lord, we'll see what happens. So wish me luck.